Hello, in this video, I'm very glad to share with you how to create Google about credentials. You will learn how to create a Google credential that you use for website login and then uh, obtain client ID and secret key that I used for what authentication. And I will also demo login to a website using Google. First, uh, we need to head to the you know, Google uh, API console homepage, which is at this URL console.developers.google.com. And before that, make sure you have logged in to the Google account. This is the first time I'm using uh, Google Console, so it uh, greetings me with a welcome message here, and check this to uh, check this option to agree with the terms of service. Agree and continue. And you need to create a project and the project name is, for example, num first uh, project and click create here in the first uh, project uh, click the credentials section here uh, on the left and click the hyperlink create credentials here you can see in the list uh, OAS 2.0 clan IDs no OAS clans to display. Now we are going to create one. Click this and choose the option uh, OAS clan ID here. And you see uh, we need to configure uh, consent screen first. So click configure consent screen. That a consent screen is a, a screen uh, which uh, the users we see when choose to log in using their Google account. And for the user type here, uh, choose uh, external available to any user with a Google account. External and click create. And here, uh, type the application name is, for example, product manager. Note that uh, the application logo is optional. Don't uh, choose uh, an application logo now because if you choose an application logo, then we need to uh, verify which uh, text time we want to use the uh, Google credentials immediately, so don't specify a logo. Email is the uh, uh, default email here. Scopes for Google APIs by default. It will give the uh, applications access to email profile open ID. That's it. Click save. Okay, and now in the credentials section here, click create credentials, uh, award client ID, and choose the application type is web application. You can choose the type you want. In this video, I choose web application so I can uh, demo with uh, my existing uh, project name. Product Product Manager Credential And here uh, in the section Authorized uh, JavaScript Origin Click Add URI and uh, for development on local computer uh, type uh, HTTP localhost and uh, because uh, my application is running on port 
uh, different than port 80 so I need to specify the port port number 8080 that's it and click create and now uh, we have uh, OAuth client created and with client ID and client secret now we can copy client ID into uh, our project I have a Java Spring Boot project here in this application configuration file here I paste the value for client ID here and copy the value of the client secret key here and paste here that's it now let me start this uh, Spring Boot application so we can test uh, login using Google account uh, I need to log out from my Google account sign out okay I am out uh, from my Google account and now uh, the Spring Boot application is up and running and let's access this uh, Spring Boot application uh, HTTP localhost port number 8080 view all products and you can see there's an option to log in with Google here yeah? so I click log in with Google you can see we got an authorization authorization error uh, the direct URI mismatch here yeah. so you need in the request the uh, direct uh, URI is this so we need to copy copy and we need to log in to Google uh, console API again console developers.google.com Credentials. Click the OA2 client ID product manager credential here to edit to update the uh, authorized uh, the direct URI here at URI and paste this here typical URI for use with request from a web server, which is our Spring Boot application. Click and save okay now log out and access uh, the Spring Boot application again localhost port number 8080 login with Google here you can see the sign in with Google screen here choose an account to continue product manager product manager is a um, consent screen we created uh, so far yeah i choose to log in using this email my google account next and it will direct me to the best in my application product manager or products here and you can see this is the name of my Google account here yeah. get display in my application perfect right and click log out uh, you are still uh, logged in Gmail so anytime you want to log in into your application click login and it will automatically log you in uh, to the application as long as you stay login in your Google account here I click login with Google again and it doesn't ask me to provide a username or password you see very convenient right and now I log out and I also log out from uh, my Google account to test uh, login with another Google account sign out 
and now I'm uh, I will log in with the uh, Uber account code Java here next to log in sorry I need to log out sign out okay okay I'm out of Uber and now I try to log in with Google from my application and this time I choose uh, Code Java Google account here next and you can see I have logged in successfully using my Google account into my application and this time you see the username is Code Java here perfect right so far I have shared with you how to create a Google OAuth credentials to use uh, for website login using Google account. Uh, let me uh, uh, summarize. First you need to create a project in Google API console and then create a consent screen and then create an OAuth credentials uh, with the type is web application and you need to specify the, the direct URI uh, correctly. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe, like, comment and share this video. Thank you.